psychiatrist Stanislav Grof once wrote that psychedelics would be the study of the mind as the telescope would be to astronomy and as the microscope is to biology. Now that may come off as a wild claim to many, I mean we have other ways of studying the mind, right? We have brain scans, behavioral experiments, and more. But psychedelics allow for a first-hand experience with one's own mind, parts of the mind that we may have never even realized before. And what's notable about psychedelics is that while yes, they can give users valuable insights about themselves, these deep insights aren't always subjective as many users report feeling as if their deepest epiphanies are actually some deeper underlying universal truth. One particular part of the brain, the default mode network, is directly associated to the ego, and this area of the brain is much less active under psychedelics. This is why our sense of selves break down, and the boundary between ourselves and the other dwindles, and we can have this profound experience of oneness, and realize that we truly are all one, and the brain just creates the distinction between self and other to protect itself. And this is why psychedelics can be considered the microscope for the mind. What we consider to be ourselves, what we have under our name, our popularity, our occupations, our status, our possessions, is swept away and we realize that all we've been doing all of our lives is constructing narratives for the ego and carrying them out, isolating ourselves from a lot of beautiful things in the world. It's as if the ego builds up walls, isolating ourselves. And psychedelics can allow us to break through those walls and zoom in on who we really are. That's why it's a microscope for the mind. It allows us to see the building blocks of who we've become. And based on what we see during the experience, we can either appreciate everything we've done in order to become the beautiful human we are, or we can see all the things that have caused us to not be our best version. And the best part is, we can view these building blocks that psychedelics allow us to see and then we can act accordingly based on what we experience. Many of us realize all of our flaws on these substances, but then never do anything to fix them afterwards. Realizing how your ego has built up many qualities in yourself, and not doing anything to fix them, is like an astronomer who has just discovered the most promising new exoplanet with all the correct conditions to hold life, has water, a good atmosphere, and not too far or too close to the sun but then doesn't communicate his discovery to the world at all. It's as if psychedelics can cause us to unlearn things. Weird concept, right? This certainly isn't the case for everyone, but oftentimes people who do have certain destructive habits, perhaps habits they've been doing for years and years, can stop these negative habits just like that. Let's take an alcoholic for example, one who drowns out his problems with alcohol. He certainly knows this is a destructive tendency, but he's just so used to using alcohol as a coping mechanism, he continues to do it. He knows it's a bad habit, but he may not consciously realize just how bad this habit of getting drunk to cope is affecting his life. Through a psychedelic experience, he may realize that, yes, all he's been doing is escape his problems, and in fact, this habit does nothing at all to solve his problems. His problems are right back there once he is sober. He may realize that this bad habit has had an impact on his relationship with his wife and how maybe his drunkenness may even scare his kids and that no one should ever be afraid of their own father. Not to mention, he's also on the cusp of losing his job and when that happens, he'd no longer be able to provide for himself nor his family. This is all just an example and of course all of these things can be realized without an outside substance but there's something special about going into a deep, introspective trance for a few to several hours that can induce strong emotions along with powerful realizations that allow the user to come out of the experience ready to attack life from an entirely new perspective. There's something about making a deal with a medicine that's just extremely powerful when it comes to self-improvement, and while me, as well as probably the majority of my subscribers are okay with making this deal with the medicine, many others, the majority of the world, are not okay with making this deal and that's mostly just due to the negative stigma and false information that's out there. And to be honest, I genuinely believe that these people are missing out in some ways that they don't realize. Of course, I'm not promoting the use of any illegal substances. Not everybody improves himself from the use of psychedelics, and in fact, some people can be even left worse off. 
I don't want to coerce anybody to try it. My goal is just to provide an accurate account of what the potential of these substances truly are, and break free of the false stigma around them. The number one most important thing about taking a psychedelic is that the will to use it has to come solely from the individual. Don't let somebody else coerce you into doing it. Don't take it if you don't think you're ready. Keep time and setting in mind. I saw some of my good friends for the first time in months over this winter break, and most of them don't know about this channel, and I get the sense that they're still under the impression that these substances, like LSD and mushrooms, are still this horrible thing that really should stay illegal. And I tried to explain some of the benefits to them, but I don't think my message really got through. In addition, I found myself falling into some of my old gossipy habits with them, just like talking negative about other people and stuff, and that is a negative quality of mine that came to the surface during one of my psychedelic experiences. So just let that be an example that self-improvement from psychedelics is a journey. Just like any form of self-improvement, you are always just different just like that. Some things are just so deeply rooted into our brains, it takes a lot to break free. That's about all I have for you guys today. I just want to say a major thank you. I just hit 100 subscribers and could not be more grateful. 100 people actually is a lot of human beings. And while that may be a small number relative to other people's channels, that is a big number in my heart. If you made it to this point in the video, I would love it if you dropped a like. It helps promote my content so more people can see it. And if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you did so. I make content like this all the time. And I got a lot of big stuff planned and probably a face reveal is on the way in the next month or so. As always guys, have a great day and peace.